gosh, he's yelling at us. I kind of want to fight him, to be honest. What's up, everybody? I'm Kelsey, and today we are back playing another episode of the Not So Very Challenge Orange Generation. You like my orange look? I'm really proud of it today. <laughs> hey guys, it's Kelsey from the future. I just wanted to say a huge thank you to our sponsor today, Alienware and Dell. I get the question a lot of what products do I recommend in terms of playing The Sims or other really big games, and you guys know I'm a big fan of Alienware. And one particular gaming laptop I'm really excited about showing with you guys is the Alienware M15 R6 gaming laptop. Ooh, baby. The Alienware M15 R6 notebook is a 15 inch with QHD 240 hertz display, which includes their Comfort View Plus hardware based low blue light technology and TUV certification. So essentially it's gonna be low blue light, which means it's better for your eyes. The 240 hertz displays are enabled for NVIDIA G-Sync and advanced Optimus technology, as well as an IR camera supporting Windows Hello biometric experiences. One thing that all simmers are going to love about this laptop is the advanced cooling system. I know that on old computers that I've played with, when you're playing The Sims with all the packs downloaded, it can sound like your computer is taking off in a rocket ship. But this one's got a beautiful cherry keyboard and includes the new silky smooth high endurance paint formula engineered for increased stain resistance and premium feel. You know your girl needs that because I love to game with snacks and I also am very clumsy. So this is a very good thing to have in a computer. For smooth high speed gaming action, make sure to game with Alienware's fastest 15 inch G-Sync displays ever. This laptop has got it all. So if you're interested, make sure to check out the link below. And again, thank you so much to Dell and Alienware for sponsoring this video and also for bringing us some amazing products that are awesome to play games on. Now back to the video. It is around that time that I will want you guys to start submitting your characters. So make sure to start making teenagers and young adults, probably more young adults than teenagers for our little orange gen. They can be friends, lovers, enemies, whatever you want. I want to fill the college that I end up going to with them. So make sure to start building all of your favorite characters that you want to see in the show and use hashtag not so very. And with that, let's hop back into the game. We're back. Amethyst is the only one home. Everyone else is at school. I did want to say that I was filming a little bit ahead. So I wasn't able to see your guys's comments in the last video, but I absolutely love the idea that Foxberry sold his soul to death in order to save his grandmother. And that might be part of his villain origin story. I also just think he admires death. Like I think he thinks death is really cool and they're gonna be friends. We're gonna go give Flame a bath because Flame is looking filthy. Bath time for Floxies. Oh, look at that. It actually looks like Flame is enjoying the bath. Impressed. So Fox is at school. He's almost a B. He's gonna be a B student today. I'm so proud of him. He's got like eight more days. So probably like two more episodes of high school. That is one clean looking Fox. Look at that, such a cutie. How you feeling Flame? Flame's like, I wanted to play in that mom. I guess we just chill. When is she going to work? In two days, she just doesn't have work today. <gasps> She's cleaning out the fridge. That's so nice. Oh, Flame's back inside. What a good baby. Ooh, schools are allowed to choose their own assignment for an upcoming school project. Should Fox choose an easy assignment and ensure a good grade or find a new, oh no, he's gonna 100% choose an easy assignment that ensures a good grade over a challenging assignment. Sure enough, Fox gets an A for his beginner's or and the little paper frog even hops when you press it. The good grade brings up his entire average by a point or two. Here you go. Oh no! Fox has found some trash that we did not know was upstairs. Well, uh, glad that Flame is enjoying a little trashy snack. We're just gonna let mom work on our piano skill for a little bit longer so she could not be a professional pianist. Oh, do we wanna go to his house and hang out? I guess so. Yeah, we'll go check in on our family. Why not? They invited us over. It's been a minute. We should be checking in on mom, seeing how she's doing. We're here. How are you, mom? Celebrate a promotion. Ask about day. She's checking in with her brothers and her mom. She's celebrating the promotion that she's gotten. Glad she's seen all the fam. Here's Cordell. Why don't we check on Cordell? Cordell looks really upset. I don't know why Cordell, maybe the family is kind of of feeling off. Where's mom? Where's my other mom? <gasps> did Casey die? When did Casey die? I don't remember her dying. 
I knew it. Oh my gosh, Casey Berry just passed. Oh my god, no wonder they have invited us over. But I'm so sorry that Casey's gone. Oh, I bet all the boys are really upset. Dylan's here chilling. Dylan is chilling. <laughs> I can't believe Casey's gone. Oh, is that Casey? It is Casey. I'm gonna take her home with me. I kind of want the graves of the berries. Parts of me wants to like make a community lot where like I put all the graves of all the berries and we could visit it. Is that bad? <laughs> Oh, is Amethyst sick? She's stuffed up from poor hygiene. Go take a little shower real quick. Showers always help with that, I think. Her old shower and her old room. I loved her room. I think I did a pretty good job decorating it. I like this house a lot. I'm glad that Skylar's not alone, that the boys like continued living with their mom and didn't move out and leave her alone. Oh, Indy got an, a B. Fox's grades are up. He's now a B student. Violet's an A student and Slate is an A student. That sounds about right. Oh, my kids are back. Well, I probably should go home, mom, but I wanna brighten your day a little bit. It's have a deep fun. conversation. Make Love sure that. she's feeling good and give her a nice hug. It's so charming that like Skylar's just such a mom of all these boys. Plenty of boys on her hands here. Oh, and we need to take all these portraits and stuff. I think we'll wait until Skylar dies and then we'll have someone move back in really quick and grab all the stuff. I think we need to take a photo together. I want her to take a photo with all of her brothers too. Oh, so sweet. Sweet. And then we need a photo with Sterling. Aw, look at these two. They do look very similar. Oh, wait, why are her eyes that color? I thought I made her eyes purple. Did I forget to make her eyes purple? I'm gonna have her finish taking photos with her brothers. And then I'm gonna adjust her eye color. We're gonna take a photo with Ash and then take a photo with Cordell and then with Dylan. That's the cute pig from them. Cordell looks like a comfy? Cordell? Cordell looks like that in the photo. I don't know why you had that reaction, Cordell, but it's fine. I hope you feel better. It looks like he's having a rough go with his mom's death. And then we got last but not least with Dylan. Oh, who needs to brush his teeth? Gross, Dylan. Brush your teeth, boy. We're gonna go home. Bye, mom. We love you. We're glad that you're still thriving on the treadmill as always, that nothing's changed. She's so happy. She said, things will get better for me. I have so many great memories to focus on. Just kind of wish that we'd had like one last moment with our mom, but it's fine. I did no. Did that happen last episode and I just forgot? Like, I don't remember. It might have. She is not feeling well. Sweetie, you need like to grab some medicine here. Then obviously all of you need to just, oh my gosh, are you still sick? He's still sick. Go take a sleep, okay? Go take a nap. Sleep off the sickness. Okay, that's Catberry. So then we have her mom here. We'll get the rest of them at some point. I don't know where they all are. She's feeling flirty now. Good for her. I don't know why her eyes aren't purple. They're blue right right now. That is not allowed. There we go. Does Fox have his eyes? No, he doesn't either. I wonder what happened. I wonder if it was like a me thing or not. Cause he has them there, but he doesn't have them here. Oh, wow. You could have like a orangey red. I like the yellow orange though. And I also did get a lot of tattoos. So he's getting a little bit older now in his teen years. Maybe it's time to like give him some, at least just like one. I downloaded a bunch. So maybe he'll get his first tattoo. Oh, that one's fun. I feel like there's one that I really like. Yes, this is perfect. He got a skull to remind him of when like death came and they became friends and he sold his soul. That's his first little tat. Look at him with his spooky death tat. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Cause also it'll like show in his outfits cause it's on his arm like that. So like he'll be able to see it most of the time when he's like rocking his outfits too. Look at our little fox all growing up and getting tattoos. He probably like snuck out to get it. Like I think he's still a little bit underage to get a tattoo without his parents approval. I think he like had to fake an ID or something. That sounds like him. That sounds like something he'd do. Where is our boy? Oh, he's on a treadmill. Okay, good for you. I forgot that he looks working out like his parents. It makes sense. Slate's having, oh, some basketball time, our little athlete. And as usual, poor Indy is sick in bed. Aww. Isn't there a birthday coming up? Oh, I think it's tomorrow. <gasps> it is the twins' birthdays tomorrow. I mean, technically their birthdays are on two different days because I messed it up last time, but I'm gonna go on uh, Violet's birthday, which is tomorrow. Oh my gosh, the twins' birthday are tomorrow. They're gonna be teens. I can't wait for Violet to be a teen. Go use the toilet and then you need to throw away that garbage there. <laughs> 
like a flame is just playing in the garbage, like having a ball. This is probably how flame got dirty the first time. We love you, flame. You goof. Amethyst and Theo are feeling a little flirty as usual. Indy's sleeping. Hopefully he's feeling better. Yeah, his sore throat is going down, so that's good. Slate is like, it's late, I should sleep. It's seven, but like, okay, you can start getting ready for bed if you really want to. What a good boy, Fox is taking out the garbage at the house. Such a good boy, such a good boy. Why don't you bake something since you need to like up your baking skills and you're hungry? Why don't you bake something? Bake something yummy for the fam. He's gonna make some brownies. Pretty sure that's his other thing. He needs to level up baking and charisma. Those are like his two main ones. Indy, oh, still feeling really rough. Oh, go use the toilet and then go grab some leftovers here. Ooh, Fox reached level two of baking. Good job, Fox. He can make oatmeal cookies, cereal, marshmallow squares, bread and fish pie. And he can also bake cream tarts, powdered donuts, and glazed donuts at the Cupcake Factory. Oh. Slate and Violet set the table together. That is so cute. Now. Fox is having a brownie for dinner. Of course he is. It's chilling, chilling with his siblings. You are gonna be aged up tomorrow. They're gonna be teens. Oh, unwelcome present. I got a present that I think is dumb, says Slate. I want to trade it with a friend or give it back. I 100% think his dad would be like, that present was for you and you better be grateful for it. Oh, and they just had a little bonding set. Violet's coming in too, like, I want to play with you guys. The twins are never far apart. Even when she's teasing him and stuff, they're never far apart. And of course, Flame is chilling with uh, Theo in the room. Now I want you to work on your charisma a little bit. Practice your speeches for when you are ruler of the universe when you're the master of a crime syndicate, you know? There he goes, he's working on it. Everyone's just used to his antics at this point. They all just walk around him as he's practicing his evil speeches. They're like, hmm. Oh, front nip behind. Fox, red, kiss. I like this song. Is Flame upset? What's Flame? What's going on with Flame? Oh, it sounds like Indy kind of tried to like reach out to the beyond. He needs to brush his teeth. Oh, yuck. Indy, go brush your teeth. Clean up a little bit here, buddy. Slate is asleep in bed. Violet's doing her homework. Ooh, it looks like Flame needs to go outside. Fox, ask Flame to go potty. No, 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 Flame. Flame, don't go out upstairs. Don't go upstairs. Come back downstairs. Fox is like, Flame, would you like to go outside? Why don't you go outside to go potty? And Flame Flame's like, oh, good point. I am a fox. I like to go outside. Pee right on the sidewalk. Good for you, Flame. Ooh, and poo. But at least pooed in the grass. Ooh, feeling forlorn. No one likes me. No one will ever like me. Why bother with anything anymore? Oh, it looks like it's Theo. I think Theo would say something like, people like you look around. Whereas I think Amethyst would be like, I always love you. <laughs> He's probably still broken up about that girl that he had a crush on and it didn't work out with, you know? Did you ever level up with charisma? No, you were super close though. Can you finish it really quick before you go to bed? Sir, can you go finish your charisma? Oh my gosh, look, mom and Indy are having a little dance party. And then mom got a book. All right, Indy, why don't you do your homework really quick and then you can go to bed. Oh my gosh, it's midnight. Why are my kids still up? What are you doing? She's still doing her homework. Oh my gosh, go to sleep. You got school tomorrow. Indy, you didn't do your homework either, but it's midnight. You gotta go to bed. I know you slept already today, but you're sick. So you should probably go to bed. I know you're not tired. You'll do your homework another day, okay? Kids are all in bed, except for Fox who, yes, just hit his next level of charisma. Charisma level five now. Good job, good job. We need to focus more on baking too. Oh my gosh, Casey's here. I love you, Casey. I don't want ghosts. So why don't we we release your spirit? Wait, wait, wait. Let's not release your spirit just this. I want to give you a final hug. Give Casey condolences. Be like, I'm sorry that you passed. And then let's get a nice hug. Oh, two people are making out right outside. Good for them. I'm sorry to hear about your loss of your own life. I'm glad you're here. I love you, mom. Now we're going to release you. We're going to let you go on to move on to the next world. I also like that you're purple. I love all these photos. These photos are so cute. I'm going to put them over here because we've got like a photo of Genevieve here too. So I want. I feel like these would be funny just to have like a little wall of all the family photos. Look at that. That's so cute. I love that. All their little photos over here. Oh, so sweet. I just love how many photos of the family they have. She likes to cover the whole house in them. Oh, that's so cute. Why don't you give Flame a bath really quick and then you're gonna go to bed. 
One hour later. Flame is all clean. Let's go off to bed. Oh, Flame fell asleep downstairs. Bye, Flame. We love you. Now everyone's asleep at 4 a.m. Classic Sims. Oh, Indy's up. Guess he's hungry. Is he feeling any better? He is. He's not sick anymore. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm glad Indy's not sick anymore. And today is the birthday. We'll have to have a birthday party for the twins when they get home. Now he's going to do his homework because he got up early. He had slept through the night. Oh, and look who's up as well. It's late. Oh, I can't believe he's an A student and so is Violet and they're going to be graduating to high school today. So proud. You earned that brownie for breakfast, buddy. Fox, he's hungry. Okay, take a shower really quick. Oh, Violet's scared. She, oh, she had a scary dream about a monster. Oh no, poor baby. It's like everybody's up but uh, Amethyst. She's still sleeping in because she went to bed so late. Oh, dad took the brownie. That was supposed to be Indy's brownie. That's super funny. Everyone's been enjoying these brownies. Ooh, mom's gonna have to repair that. And then of course, Flame is drinking the toilet water from the floor because the toilet is broken. Lovely. Everyone's getting ready for the day. I'm so, 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 so excited. I really like his tattoo. I think it looks cool. Is he cleaning up? He's cleaning up. He's a good kid. Look at this good kid cleaning up all the plates and washing them in the sink for his mom who's repairing the toilet like a boss. And the fox is getting Getting dirty again. Come on. Oh, flame, stop rolling. Stop getting dirty. Don't play in puddles. Mom's gonna lecture flame about it. Bye, Fox. Have fun at school today. Violet's headed to school. Slate is headed to school as well. And Indy, last but not least, heading off to school. Everybody work hard, except for maybe Fox, who has no fun. So I feel like he'd play games on his phone. But everybody else listen to teacher. And then I think Indy would make friends. Oh my gosh, did our animal just poo inside? Did you just poo inside, Flame? Come on. Beg to stop indoor potty. Please do not indoor potty, Flame. Aw, Theo chatted with Skylar today. That's so sweet. I bet Skylar loved that. Fox's manners fell out of the range to earn the good manners trait. I think that's for the best, to be honest. I think I did the right thing. Oh, Violet got sick and threw up in the hallway. Do a thorough health check. I think she'll be fine. She doesn't seem like she gets teased at school. Ooh, tomorrow is love day. Flame's still learning to go potty outside. Yeah, it happens. I love that everyone just keeps eating brownies because he keeps making brownies. It's so cute. But we do need to cook a birthday cake for the kids. Maybe chocolate cake. Chocolate cake's like a crowd pleaser, you know? It's easy. Who doesn't like chocolate cake? That's what I think. Ooh, Violet reached motor skill level six. Good job, Violet. Does Theo not have work today? No, he doesn't have work today. We do though, unfortunately, in three hours, which also means that we probably won't be there for their birthday party. So that's probably why she's making the cake now. So she's like, I will be there in spirit with the cake that I am making the twins. Speaking of work, we probably should have her continue her lessons for the piano so we can get out of this professional pianist shenanigans. Not that we really want to be a symphonic string player either, but it is what it is. Oh my. I hope this doesn't scare you away, but I think I like you a lot, Theo. I was hoping that maybe we could become something more. <gasps> I feel like Theo having an affair just doesn't seem right, but it would bring a lot of drama, especially with Mai. And he did kind of flirt with someone when they were married last time. No, I want to believe the best with Theo. Oh, I love drama though. This is so hard. I feel like none of you guys would want this to happen though. No, I don't feel that way. Dang my, I cannot believe her. He's feeling very playful. I feel like he, you know, might've gotten, are you going out tomorrow? No, stop calling me my. I cannot believe my is calling him so much. Oh no, stop calling us. What just happened? Why is everyone getting a phone call? Skylar's passed, no. Oh, Oh no, I'm so sad. I'm glad then that we went to go see her. I kind of wish we'd brought the rest of the family. Hey Theo, I think I have a crush on Vaughn Sigworth. Mai is insane. Yeah, go for it. Get out of my life. <laughs> she is way, way too obsessed with his opinion. Did you hear about that woohoo scandal that happened at school? <gasps> yeah. What happened at school? What was the woohoo scandal? I want to know what the woohoo scandal is. Indy met Raylan while at school. Very nice. Oh my God. Genevieve just asked on us on a date. What is it with my friends and hitting on us today? No, thank you, Genevieve. Honestly, maybe at one point though, if Genevieve had hit on us before, Theo, we would have a hundred percent gone for it. Yay, we reached piano level five. Good job. Oh, we gotta go to work. We gotta go to work. We're a little late. Good luck. Have fun. I'm proud of you for finishing the piano 
skill. Have a good day at work. Be like, tell the kids I love them. Oh, she's even wearing a purple top for work. That's awesome. Theo is feeling good. I feel like Theo would miss having a cat. I feel like he'd want to get a cat at some point. Oh, the kids are home. Yay. Okay, time for birthday. And yep, all the kids have the same grades as they did before. Fox feels awesome. He had a fun day of just playing video games on his phone, as one does. It's time for the twins to have a birthday. Oh, they're so sad. It's okay. Cheer up. You're going to have a birthday, okay? Let's plan a social event. We're going to have a birthday party for Slate and Violet, who both look really upset. The guests are going to be Indy, Fox, Theo. It doesn't look like he knows any of their friends. They also might just like be more friendly with each other, to be honest. So I guess we'll invite the rest of the family. Yay, it's a birthday. Why don't you clean up for the kids? Violet's here. Oh, she's not feeling super great. Why don't you take a little quick shower? Fox, why don't you uh, bake something? Oh, lonely recess. India had a lonely recess. No one wanted to play with him. Ask the other kids to join in. You'll get there, Indy. It's okay. He's really introverted. Ooh, cereal marshmallow squares sound good. A lot of sugar in this house lately ever since Fox got into that, but looks like the fridge is uh, broken. We'll wait for mom to repair that, but I hopefully no one goes near it. I don't want anyone else to die. Oh, Dari wants to play with Indy again. See, Indy, you do have friends. I'm glad Dario called. That probably made him feel really good. Ooh, do some sit-ups. Yeah, go for it, Indy. Violet's all hyped up now. Everyone's feeling good. Sweet Angel Fox is baking for his siblings for birthday. All right, let's bring out the cake. Oh, we need to cook something else for the kids to eat because we have run out of food. Why don't you blow out the candles, Violet? Ooh, he's level three now. Good job, Fox. Proud of you for being level three of baking now. Hey, happy birthday, Violet. Happy birthday. Even Ash is here to celebrate you. Oh my gosh, Violet aged up. Okay, she's going to be, she's good. Oh, that's gonna be hard because she and Fox are gonna clash so much as she gets older. Okay, so she's good and vegetarian. I feel like she's the smart one. Maybe we'll have her be like a nerd brain, be like book smart and handy, or maybe a computer whiz. I feel like I could see her being into computers. Let's have her be into computers. All right, Fox, why don't you add some more birthday candles? Look, it's Kala. Kala's here. Come on, Slate, it's your turn. I know you're sad because of grandma died. Happy birthday. He's got little tears in his eyes because he's so sad. Slate aged up. He's also good. Oh, I forgot that Slate's also good. Okay, he's a goofball. I thought him as being like a cool guy. So maybe he's like just wants to be popular, like a friend of the world. Keep as many friends as he can. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh my gosh, look at these two. I got to give the makeovers. Here is Violet. I am not really a fan of whatever is going on here. There's a lot, a lot going on. Let's do some cute little skin details. I like that one on her a lot. And then we'll give her some lashes. Change up the brows. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. And then we'll give her some natural blush. I like the braids, but I'm not a huge fan. It's been a minute since I've gotten to use like my other CC hair, so I'm kind of vibing with that. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. This one's so cute. I love the hair clips. Maybe this one could have the little hair clips. Let me see. I just feel like there's little hair clips that I like, like these ones. I thought I had more hair clips, but I guess I do not. I'm gonna give her less manicured brows, I think. I kind of want to give one of them braces or even both, honestly. And then makeup, I'm thinking we'll do like a little lip gloss or something. Perfect. And then actually for her eyelashes, I think I'm gonna give her shorter ones. Yeah, now she's looking a little bit more like a teen. Perfect. Let's give her some sort of like purple look. Oh my God. Gosh, I think this is like is something that her mom wore. Oh, I love it in the darker colors. Maybe I'm gonna go away from having her always wear purple. I could see her in like kind of a preppy kind of look. That's cute. Yeah, I think she looks good. I'm not like a hundred percent on the hair. Maybe we do like something more like that with the little space buns. I think that's cute. So this is Violet. I think she's super cute. She's even got little braces when she smiles. It's so cute. And then next up is is Slate. I feel like Slate's gotta have like a cool boy look. Oh, I like this. I don't think I've used this hair yet. 
yet. Maybe that's not super teen hair though. I feel like he should have like kind of longer kind of messy hair. So here's Slate and his looks and the two twins are done. I think they look great. I'm so excited to play as them. All right, let's see him in the world. Oh my gosh, this is my girl. Look at Slate looking all slick for his party. And that also means that we need to change up their bedroom together. We can move this to Indy's room. I feel like Indy will like to use it still. And then in this room, I feel like they're gonna not want the bears anymore. We'll put those in the inventory for now. We're not gonna like delete them or anything. Obviously do away with the night lights. We'll need like kid desks, like teen desks. Maybe this one, but they put them in like black. The room and then we can have little desk chairs. Maybe one blue and is there a purple desk chair? Yeah, purple. Maybe for their dresser, something small in the corner. Clutter up their room because now they're like teens. Maybe delete this like balloon light. I think that might be a little young for them. Maybe like replace it with one of these kind of things. Like this feels like a teen light. And honestly, like I think from here we can kind of keep it as is. I don't think it needs to change so, so much. All of them, look at them. Fox is up here. What is he doing? Practicing flirting? Fox! Does Fox have a crush on someone? A new crush at school maybe? Maybe it's Colin Munch? Perceived as attractive. It could be, it could be Colin. Oh, he's gonna go play basketball in the rain. Okay, live your dreams. Slate looks so wild in that outfit. I don't know why I thought that was gonna be a good outfit for him. He looks a little old. Oh, there's his braces. I'm like, it's hard to see his braces, but he's got them. Oh my gosh, he's hysterical. He's having like a teen mood swing from his birthday. You live your dreams. Indy's just checking out their room as usual. Ooh, Reed always calling about the drama. Yeah, tell me the tea, boy. Slate acquired the dance skill. Did you not dance before? He is in a silly, goofy mood. Look at him, very playful listening to, I do not know what this music is. Kids radio. Well, you know, he did just become not a kid, so good for him. The rest of the family all hanging out in here together. Oh my gosh, someone fixed the fridge. That wasn't Amethyst, that's nice. Why don't you throw away, clean up. I love Violet with everybody. She's so mature and cool. Slate's just cracking himself up, having a good time with his Rice Krispie treat that his brother made for his birthday. It smells so bad I don't wanna be in here. Poor Indy. It's like the trash is disgusting. Why don't you clean up that puddle for your dad, okay? Seems like Theo's a little busy here, taking care of the trash. You can help out, Indy. I feel like Theo might wanna cook. Oh, and of course, Fox, after his little basketball moment, is having a good piece of cake. Ooh, someone's, I am deeply saddened by the news. Would you like a hug? Stop hitting on me. If Amethyst found out, she would throw hands. Amethyst would be up in her face going, hey, listen, he said no. A no is a no. Go away. Stop bugging. No, I don't want to hug. Go away. We get it. He aged like a fine wine, okay? Look at this man. I do not blame you for wanting some of this action. I don't blame you. But the man said no, all right? Stop sniffing around his door. Oh, oh no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop this right now. What is going on? Free love is on. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Shut it down. We are, mm -mm, mm -mm. no, we are family. We do not want this, whatever is happening here between Kala and Sterling. Although I guess they're technically not related. It is still weird though. It is still weird. Sterling, don't flirt with your cousin. It's so weird. The amount of possible incest this season is too much in my opinion. Amethyst is home. She's really sad about the loss in her family, but she's got to come in and give her her aged up teens a hug. Go give your daughter a hug. I feel like it'll make you feel better. She's stinking and she's hungry. Came to the party already almost over here. And the boys are upstairs hanging out. Oh, look, the hug made her feel better. That's very good. I'm glad. Oh, it looks like the party wrapped up just as she finished here. Now she needs to cook some stuff. Oh, she's really sad again. Let's make some onigiri. Ew. <laughs> Did you just hear her? She goes, ew. She's already hot in the gossip for teenhood. She's like, cannot wait for freshman year at high school. Slate's already tired a sec. Gonna go to bed. Good night, Slate. Indy also is going to bed. He's very sad about the death still. Violet's feeling focused. Amethyst making herself dinner. Theo is working out, of course. He's like, had too much cake. Gotta work out these muscles. Gotta keep it tight. Gotta keep it tight. 
hate vitriol. Looks like she's friends with a teen alien at school. Okay, good for you, girl. Violet, you know you are part alien on your mother's side, so there you go. Speaking of which, I want to see their like family tree here. Oh, look, it goes all the way up to Poppy, but it doesn't show Minth. Is that how? Okay, there it is. Wait, what? Oh, was Poppy technically not? Wait, it's not showing Minth anymore. That makes me so sad. Oh no! They're not showing Minth, but it's showing Poppy, Summer, Skylar, and now Amethyst, and at last Fox. Hi, key sad that we don't see Minth anymore. And we don't even see like any of Poppy's siblings on there because they're not related. Because I can't click on Minth. Makes me very sad. We literally made dinner, Sterling. Why did you eat cake? He's like, it was birthday. Why don't you go to sleep. Theo's still working out, working on his fitness. We're his witness. It's time for all of the kiddos to go to bed, all right? Oh no, apparently Violet's taking after dad, wants to work out at midnight. Okay, you know, the Paris children are a little weird. Technically, everybody last name is Paris. Oh no, Indy's also Barry. Okay, good. I was like, I felt bad that Fox is the only one still with the Barry name in the family, but it's not true. Violet looks like she's having fun on the treadmill though. Good for her. So everyone's in bed, but Violet and Theo apparently. What? What's wrong? It sounded like Flame was crying. Are you lonely? Here you go, sweet angel. We'll play with you. We need some attention. I need attention sometimes too, Flame. It's okay. Give you praise. We're gonna cuddle you on the couch. Indy's going through a phase. Oh, angry phase of Indy. He wants to be a little rock star. Oh, and he's cursing. Okay, okay. Potty mouth. Look at sweet angel. Uh, Violet, are you over here to try to play with the fox too? Oh, she's being sweet to fox. I think you should go to bed though, even though you had a really fun bonding moment with dad. Go to sleep. Oh, and he's crying in his bed. That's so sad. No, sweetie. I think you need to just sleep, okay? It's still 1 a.m. Slate, I think you need to sleep too. Why is everyone getting up? Go to bed, kids. Here she goes. She gonna go upstairs to go to sleep. Perfect. Fox is the last one awake as usual. Taking a shower before going going to bed at 3 a.m. That's like the most Foxberry thing I think I can think of. Oh, and then Flame went to sleep in mom and dad's room. You know, I feel like Amethyst would see that and buy Flame like a little bed. There you go, Flame. You get a bed in every room. So we love you so much. Oh, Flame went to sleep in mom and dad's room on the bed. Look how cute that is. Tommy in the air. Oh, so sweet. All the berries are asleep together. Oh, oh and it's love day. <gasps> <gasps> Teen love day. I wonder if Fox will like flirt a little bit with uh, Colin, who he thinks is kind of cute at school. Colin to be looks a little scary, but maybe we'll try to do something for Colin because we have a little crush. Indy's up early as always. Indy loves getting up early. Oh my gosh. Indy's listening to his angry music. He's going through his emo phase. He's wondering where babies come from. He's cleaning up after himself because he's a good kid. Don't go take a bath, okay? Looks like our boy Slate is up today. Feeling good. Theo's off to work. Oh, he went to work so early. Bye, Theo. Oops, it's time for school. All right, awesome. kids, let's go to school, everybody. Get up. Have a good first day at high school, Slate. You too, Violet. Oh, she looks upset. And then last but not least, Fox. Maybe have a nice flirt for Love Day. I hope you all have fun at Love Day. We're gonna listen to teacher today because I really want him to get stuff done. Ooh, dangerous lift. Theo spots a scrawny looking sim across the gym, struggling to bench press an extremely sizable amount. I think Theo would help. Theo rushes to help at the lifter, is very aggravated at being interrupted and yells at Theo. However, Theo's boss steps in and reminds the sim that it's never a good idea to lift without a spotter. Boom. Glad Theo was right about that one. Fox is gonna get good manners again. Oh man, okay, you need to like not listen to teacher now. Go play games on your phone again. Poor Amethyst is having cramps today. Love day school party. Okay, here we go. Here we go. It's love day for the kids. All week at school, kids have been asking their sweethearts for the annual love day school party. There will be cookies and punch, music, the exchanging of flowers and cards, and of course, awkward chaperones. Slate had yet to be asked, so he has two options. Go alone or invite something special. I feel like Slate might go alone just to be like cool, but he'd want to invite someone special. Go alone. Go alone. He's still pretty young. Slate. Oh, I wanted to read this. I'll, fin I'll finish the story first. Slate wasn't interested in inviting anyone in particular. Instead, he decided to focus simply on be 
being the life of the party. While his classmates indulged in awkward banter and wallflowering, Slate led the charge for fun. Who delivered flowers to everyone in attendance? Who started a chubby llama competition? And who talked the teacher into playing the cool music? Slate, of course. Ah, this sounds like him. It was an epic school party that begged only one question. Whatever did Slate do with the chaperones? Here's Violet's love time. Make love day flower cards. During art, Violet's class was instructed to create flower themed cards for each other. After gathering glitter, colored pencils, construction paper, petals, and fuzzy pipe cleaners, Violet sat down, her creative juices flowing. The cards would be shared and opened with the rest of the class during the party later, so this had to be good. But she would create heartfelt ones. She wouldn't fake a joke out of it. She'd be really sweet about it. Oh, I wanted to see the end of it. We'll just see the end of it after Fox's. So Fox is decorating for the Love Day dance. Oh, probably the one that Slate went to. Uh, when teachers asked for volunteers to help set up for a Love Day dance, Fox was quick to raise his hand. See, this is our little sweetheart. He has a heart of gold, even if he's a bit chaotic and sassy. Not only would he get out of class for a few hours, see, that's the other reason why he'd do it, but he'd give it a unique opportunity. Oh, he would probably prank it though. Yeah, he'd prank it. He'd prank the Love Day dance. Oh my gosh, another one. Okay, Indy. Oh, Always allow students to buy flowers to be delivered to each other. I think he would buy flowers for everyone in the class because he's a sweetheart. Violet, sensitive, sweet, charming, thought provoking. These are a few of the descriptors kids are whispering about Violet in the halls. Some say the school bully renounces previous taxation on school lunches. She's so cute. The popular girls are allowing anyone to sit with them, even if they aren't wearing pink. And nobody has been stuffed in a locker today. And all because of Violet's cars. Is this what being a teen legend feels like? That sounds like Violet. And then what happened to Fox? Prince of pranks, destroyer of love day, all titles bestowed upon Fox for his manacle ingenuity when decorating the gym for the love day dance. Sure, he got in a bit of trouble with the teachers, but that's part of the fun. All of the school thinks Fox is hilarious and the dance was way better than it would have been otherwise. So Fox and Slate crushed the dances. I think probably they went to two different dances for upperclassmen and lower classmen. I'm glad that Fox's went well. Indy decided to surprise the entire class with flowers while sitting in math. Each flower was hand delivered taking enough time to get them out of a test. Good job, Indy. <laughs> All of my kids had good love days. Oh no, there was a fight. <gasps> Slate and another student fought, probably a student that like was annoyed that Slate was so popular. No one got hurt. I'm gonna say have them work it out. They'll figure it out. <laughs> Next up, she's got to work on her piano skill as usual. We're gonna practice. Fox's manner spell out of range to earn the good manner straight. That's good. I love that he's just right on the line there. That's his happy place. He lives in that space, that gray area. <laughs> Our fox is messy again. Every day we have to bathe our fox. Ash would like to come hang out. Yes, of course, Ash, come on over. I am going to work though, so you might have to hang with the kids. Hope that's okay. Looks like he's here. There we go. Ooh, Indy met Malik while at school and Theo brought home some money today. That's good. How you doing, Theo? Oh, he's still really sad. It's okay, why don't you take a nice little shower? And Amethyst is headed out to work. All right, she didn't even get to say hi to her brother before she headed out to work. Oh, sleep. Slate wants to invite over classmate Wendell. Great, everybody's back home. He's a B student. Violet is an excellent C student as a Slate. And Indy is a B student as well. Oh, he's like tense. An edge of a breakout. He's having like a bit of a mood swing. Why don't you grab some food really fast and then maybe have a phone call to your crush and see if they're gonna hang out with you on love day. Oh my gosh, drama king. You just had a great day at school. Everyone thinks you're super cool because you pranked the dance. What are you moping about, sir? Oh my, Foxberry, you do not slam that door. That refrigerator just got fixed, sir, okay? Do not break my refrigerator again. Who is this? Is this Wendell? Do a little friendly introduction to your brother's friend. Here we go, this is Wendell. Oh, we're stinky. Girl, you need to go take a shower, okay? Don't talk to any teen boys or even teen girls without taking a little shower, okay? Fox, are you done eating? Great, stop being dramatic. Whoa, he flirted with someone today. Journey, Villarreal. He both hates and likes her. That's very interesting. And very hilarious to me. Hot and cold, are they on or off? People can never tell. <laughs> oh my God, that's really funny. But I still wanted him to have a crush on Colin. So I wanna see if we can invite Colin on a date. No, we can't. Okay, let's maybe ask him to hang out, maybe travel, and then we're gonna invite Colin. These two boys, where are we gonna go? We can go to like a museum, we can go to the gym, go to like a lounge. But they're teens. I think I like the Windenburg like kind of place. There's coffee shops, libraries, little night clubs, but I feel like they'd want to go to like the Bruins. It just is, you know, in Fox's wheelhouse to just like go loiter around weird spots. Oh, 
what was that music? Maybe share some love day excitement. Oh, he's really sad. Check on Colin. I think he just rejected us. Is he asking us maybe about Journey? He'd be like, oh, I thought you were with Journey. He'd be like, oh, we don't know each other that well. Oh, he's a hero. Maybe that's why they don't really get along. Smooth apology. Are you kidding? Brighten his day. Why does Colin hate us so much? Okay, he said he was sorry to Colin and Colin accepted his apology. Maybe we were just coming on a little strong at the beginning. Flatter him. You know what? Use your charisma. Use your charisma, okay? Oh, this is not going well. Oh no, Colin hates us. Try to chat. Please, Colin, just talk with me. Why did you even show up if you were just gonna be mean to us on love day? What the heck? Oh my gosh, she's yelling at us. Literally, no matter what we do, I am getting negative interactions in between these two sims. This is so funny. I kind of want to fight him, to be honest. He's making me so mad. Look at him just like working out in front of us. What the heck? Obsess about favorite video game. Maybe you like video games together. He's trying to call other people. Oh my God, look how broken hearted Fox is. He's crying. You know what? We'll just be mischievous. We're gonna invite him to a fake party. Screw you, Colin. And still in with false confidence too. How is this working? Tell an urban legend. Are, are you kidding me right now? He needs to fertilize. All right, yeah, go use the bathroom. He's gonna go pee in a bush. This love day is a disaster. He's so mad. I'm so sorry. I thought that asking out him would be okay, but he's just being so mean. I kind of want to fight him. Oh, maybe he's brokenhearted about someone else. Throw a love day confetti. Uh, I don't think that will be a good move though. Uh, oh, he's doing it. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. No, wait, he's just chatting. Nope, he threw the confetti. He threw the confetti. Oh, he liked it. Okay. Maybe he just didn't know it was a date. Try to flirt with him. It's probably gonna blow up in our face. You know what? He's like not cute anyway. Colin sucks anyway. You are super rude. Go away. All right, yeah, you better run. You better flip and go away. Get out of here. Colin up, Journey. Would rather not come. Oh no! She's mad at him for some reason. Journey doesn't want to come. Poor guy. Oh, he's just gonna go to nap. All right, at this point, you might as well just go home. I'm so sorry, Fox. He's so embarrassed, so unlucky in love. Hopefully he'll be luckier in love. In college, high school just does not seem like it's it for a fox. He's probably a little bitter about it too. He's like, thought he was attractive. I wanted to be cool. But no, Fox had the worst love day ever. Wow, that guy was so mean to him and he only tried to be nice. Which is ironic because it's Fox. You'd think he'd be like the mean one, but he's not. He's not the mean one. He just kind of made an enemy today. I'm gonna leave this one right here with our poor sweet baby Angel Fox having the world's worst date on Love Day. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And until next time, I'll see you around the internet very soon. Bye.